So I watched a video um, about the Kevin Samuels response from uh, Rochelle Ritchie. And I just want to let y'all know that, you know, we got to humble down. We can't always be right about everything. That man is not wrong for not apologizing to that woman. That woman called into the show. She knew that the show was live and she wanted to be live when she took that call with him. However, he displayed his information out there and the tone that he used or however everybody feels about how he did what he did, that's everybody's personal opinion. And everybody's entitled to their opinion, just like he's in, entitled to how he, you know, runs his business and how he relays his information out there. So he's not wrong for telling her what he told her. In the beginning, y'all failed to realize that she did not book a session. I hear black people say all the time, especially black owned businesses that you know, other black people try to get over on them and they don't treat them right. They treat white owned businesses better and they respect them more. So we have, we're, 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 you know, looking over the fact that she got free services. Now, you know, granted, everybody has their opinion on how he did things. I even said myself that, you know, he didn't have to take the call. You know, he could have hung up and told her to book a session later on, which he did tell her to book a session, but she, she insisted on still staying on the phone. Um, I'm sure she listened to some of his other shows and she knows how he talks. She knows how he responds. And this is not a surprise that she did get the response that she gotten because to tell you the truth, everybody gets those kind of responses. Black women, black men, white women, anybody that calls into the show, you have a choice whether you want to book a private session or you have a choice whether you want to book a live session. He's not wrong for not apologizing. I see all the time that we have these um, channels where, you know, the men and women, they pick out um, the narcissist men, um, the men to stay away from, and they have all these channels that's directed toward, you know, bad seeds and, and, and men that you need to stay away from and the kind of men that you should not choose. And so there's nothing wrong with having a channel or having somebody to give information to other men of the women that we need to stay away from because truth be told all women are not perfect i just i'm just this is the reality of it like we've been getting a slap on the wrist for so long and we've been having of course like the men even tell us the woman's always right the woman's always right and we've gotten into this era to where we are so empowered that we think that we are the men and women and it, and it comes from our environment it comes from how we're raised we're ra raised in these single family homes where we have the mother that does have to be the mother and the father but sometimes women do take on that role and and, and some women can't help it they're in that situation they might have gotten with a guy really young or they might have been in an environment where they haven't had the best teaching or they haven't had a father to teach them how to be and we fall into that category but sometimes we women we put ourselves in that category as well and we want to be the victim because when we're the victim we get sympathy we get attention and we don't want to better ourselves because when we're better in ourselves then nobody's paying attention to us and that's not right we have to make a change we have to make a stand if we don't stand for something we're going to fall for anything and i always say that i'm never going to be the type of person that's just going to choose sides and choose sides and say that okay the women is the women is always right because the attitude that was displayed over that phone call and and the way that she spoke to him you you can feel the aggression it's kind of like you're contradicting yourself and you're proving that he's right about the women that he's speaking on because you can't even have a conversation to agree to disagree or to just respect another person's opinion and how they do things without forming an attitude or without getting loud or you know just saying okay this is how you did it okay that's understandable or just to listen to understand and have a conversation and agreement just to understand instead of to reply that is something that we're we're big on doing we have a conversation and we listen but we listen to a, a, a reply instead of to understand why that person does it and that's something that we do need to change about ourselves i can't say that you know i was this type of person that i am now all the time the environment that i grew up was a single family home i had a grandmother i never met my grandfather she was a single woman all the all the years of the life that i know her my mom she's been married multiple times i never had a dad in the home to raise me and all i knew was advice from other women and how to stay strong and how to stay in power 
and how to so when you're in that type of environment and the only information that you're receiving is from the people that are around you you're gonna think that you're right you're gonna think that everything that is fed to you and the learned behavior that you have in your life is right and that's how you're supposed to execute things outside of life and even when you're interacting with other people and that's not right sometimes we have to sit back and sometimes we have to listen and we have to learn and we have to take this information and if it's right if it's if it's right it's right and if it's wrong it's wrong i'm not saying that we have to follow a person when they're wrong or follow the most popular opinion but we have to realize that you know god is our only soul salvation we can't follow a man and we can't follow a woman and let them be the prize in our life to tell us how we're supposed to live our life and give us information based on that people that have these channels and they do these things they're giving their most popular opinion they're giving you opinion based on the things that they went through and they're giving you guidance based on the things that they went through but at the same time we're responsible for our own salvation we're responsible for you know taking action and making a change within ourselves if we want better and we can use the knowledge and we can use the information from other people because that's why we're here. We're here to learn from others. But at the same time, we have to also give it to God. We're leaving God out of the equation. God always says that, the, well, the Bible always says that, you know, the man is the head of the household. He is the provider. He's the leader. But also he has to get that leadership from God. And at the same time, we are supposed to submit and we're supposed to trust that man to be the leader for us if he's doing it the right way and if he's doing it in a godly manner. So we have to always take that into account that we are women. We have to stay in women's place. We have to respect each other. And just doing that phone call, I just don't see where the respect level was given. When you say you want respect, you also have to give respect. And so I cannot agree with her in that situation because, you know, whatever he did, that's what he did and that's his platform he's allowed to you know give that information if he see fit that's how you know he feels about this the, the situation that was given at hand and we have to understand and respect that she did not call in with the best intentions because she called in to get free services so we have to respect you know everybody on a whole level so build our self-confidence and i just I just don't understand how we can come together and form an alliance on different people that's trying to do different things. And Kevin Samuels, he's making his channel for the men and what to look out for, to build them up, to make us aware of ourselves and make us aware of what's going on in the black community so we can come together with more marriages and more prosperous outcomes in our lives you know he might not be doing it the best way that you think he should do it but at least it's happening we can all work together and i say that to say that we shouldn't bash each other we shouldn't bash each other's channels if we're doing something good and for the better of our community instead we should come together and see how can i help you so you can help black men how can i help you so you can help black women and we can just further this this shouldn't be a fight or a battle against the sexes and from my understanding black men helped her start her channel and, and lifted her up because she was doing something positive we don't need no no more suki hanas out here and people that is bashing women for working and doing the right thing or being empowered you know or, or being righteous we need more people that is going to be behind us to stand for what is right in the world and we need to come together and work together so I'm just making this video because I don't agree with all the finger pointing and um, my way is the right way and your way is the wrong way. There is no right or wrong way. The right way is God's way. And that's what we're leaving out. Everybody can have an opinion, but at the same time, right is right. The truth is truth and truth hurts. We haven't been looking the best out here. Us women have not been looking our best out here and we haven't been displaying ourselves right. We have been lost out here because we don't have no fathers to raise us. A few of us do, but a lot of us don't. We have been victimized for a long time. You know, not only have we been victimized by other people, but even the system. You know, we sit here, we blame everybody else, we make babies so we can get the free services and free money and we have everybody saying that we're right about everything, but we're still causing our own problems. And it just I got married when I was 28 years old. And before that, you know, I had to work on myself. I had to work on a lot of things. I was always combative, argumentative, you know, thinking that I was right, you know, thinking that my way of thinking was the only way of thinking. 
And, you know, it's just a learning process that we all have to go through, especially when we're young and we're out here. We haven't had the best influence and we are, you know, coming into these relationships. You know, I made two kids and I made two kids by two different guys. And I haven't had the best guidance before that, but I had to sit back and I had to say, what am I doing wrong? You know, how, what kind of men am I attracting? It's not about, okay, well, I'm not doing anything and I'm always right and the men's always wrong. It's just that the men that I was attracting were not the right type of men. They were not in the space in their life that they need to be to want to raise a child or to be a family. And I was not picking the right guys based on what I wanted as far as what was going to be best for me and my child also my head was not level headed to even keep a guy that was going to be a good guy for me because i needed to work on myself and my level of thinking and understanding first and so people fail to realize that it's not about okay at that time what you did right or what you did wrong or what that person did right or wrong it's just the fact that when you sometimes when you're ready that person's not ready or it's like the saying goes the w women always like the bad guys and you're always liking the guys that's not for you and that don't have the goals that you claim that you're looking for. And so once I changed my mindset and I attracted somebody that was totally different from the realm of the guys that I'm used to dating, you know, that's the best thing that could have happened to me because I married a guy that didn't have any children. You know, he was a good role model for my kids and a good role model for me and taught me a lot of things. And I taught him a lot of things. We grew together, but we grew together unselfishly. And see, that's the problem with a lot of females. You know, they think with a selfish mindset and think that it's all about me. I'm always right. This is what I want in life. And if you can't get on board, then something wrong with you. But sometimes we have to realize that not only is something wrong with somebody else, you have to look at what's wrong with you too. You have to take accountability. And once you do that, then you will see changes go on in your life. I got married when I was 28. I'm 35 right now. I've been married for seven, uh, for seven years. And I haven't, of course I had ups and downs and had problems, but I was willing to submit. I was willing to be vulnerable and I was willing to open myself up to allow myself to change and allow these things to happen. And being that he's a God-fearing man, I allowed him to take the lead. And it was the best thing that could happen. Not saying that because he took the lead and I'm submitting that I'm weak. And that's what some women fail to realize. You have to look, read your Bible and you have to look up what submitting means and, and, and how it's going to benefit you and how it's going to help your children. We have to make decisions based on not just us and how we feel personally or emotionally, but the best decision to raise a family and for your children as well. And that's all I wanted to say about the situation, that we just got to do better. And y'all comment below and just let me know what y'all think about it. I'm out.